Hey guys, I'm Greg Gilman and welcome to another episode of The Rap's Final Take, where I take you on a spiritual journey through this week's biggest news and entertainment. First up, if your kids have been singing adorable renditions of Let It Go more than usual lately, it's because Disney announced what we all knew was coming. Frozen 2, Frozen 2, coming to a theater near you. I don't care what they say. I never saw the original anyway. Okay, it's not so adorable when I do it. So, here you go. Perhaps the biggest news of the week was the verdict on a Blurred Lines copyright trial. A jury ruled in favor of Marvin Gaye's estate, forcing T.I., Pharrell, and Robin Thicke to give up a whopping $7.4 million because their hit song sounds a little bit too similar to Marvin Gaye's 1977 song, Got to Give It Up. And isn't it ironic? Don't you think? In other TV news, Kelly Osborne, who quit East Fashion Police last week after the whole Julian Arancic, Zendaya, hair smells like weed debacle. But this week, she appeared on The Talk to address her departure. Do you know what? I'm, it was the five best working years of my life. Mm -hmm. I am so grateful for the experience. Well, that was very mature of her. It was also very boring. Hey, Kelly, uh, don't be afraid to add a little more flair next time you quit your job. Fuck it. I quit. Aaron, I'm here to tell you that I'm quitting. Let's get this 